Hi guys, Spencer here from Complete Inbox. I'm here with Adam Hooper from 8-Bit Arcade. Now a lot of you guys know that we have a lot of arcade machines in store. And a lot of you guys also ask like, hey, where do you get them? Where do I get them for myself? And I gotta tell you that since I found 8-Bit Arcade about a year ago, I honestly haven't gotten any other ones. Um, you may be familiar with some of the ones we had in store such as House of the Dead, um, Golden, Golden, Golden Tea, Tea. Uh, there's a bunch. Oh, that Space Invaders, that really nice Space Invaders we also got here. So at least half of them that you see are from 8-Bit Arcade. So I wanted to introduce them. Uh, they are in the Lancaster area, and uh, <laughs> they like children as well as I do with my son Ferris right here. Um, I don't know, Adam, if you wanted to tell the people a little bit of like what you guys do here and everything. Sure. We, um, our, our biggest thing is buying and selling games. Uh, we usually buy games in somewhat of a defunct state. Uh, we restore them um, anywhere from just a functional restore up to a complete overhaul. Um, and if you want to look around, you can kind of see um, we have everything from a House of the Dead 3 to an X-Men cabinet and a Tron cabinet that we're restoring. Um, and we're starting to work on a new project here. This is, this is a beta of our uh, miniature arcade. We're going to downsize, our, downsize arcades to something that is child side, <laughs> um, but also something you can sit out with a stool. Um, it's something we look at, uh, you know, having a more refined look that looks like an actual miniature arcade. Um, but our focus is still on any games, um, retro to modern, um, and yeah. And uh, Adam and I were just talking today about the possibility of getting these mini full arcades in store for us to either sell or have in there or whatever. And um, I should say that these are going to be full functional arcades. So if you go to him, I assume and say, I want X game in this mini thing. As long as he can find it, he can make it into this mini one. I know personally at my house, I have steps going, uh, very steep steps going in and outside of the house and it would be very difficult for me to move a full size arcade. And we can both say from experience that full size arcade uh, machines are really, really, really heavy. heavy. Hundreds really of heavy, pounds. hundreds of pounds. I um, <laughs> broke a toe on it on moving one last year. And that wasn't even dropping the whole machine, that was dropping a piece of it on me. So these things, uh, hopefully you'll see them in completing box soon. Um, these things will be really nice. Um, I assume that uh, if somebody contacts you and say, hey, can you find me this machine? You'll be on the lookout for yep. it. And you also buy machines from people yep. if they happen to have uh, any around. Yep. And um, one of the things that are really helpful for them, uh, or for us that they do, is if I have a defunct machine in my storage and I don't know what to do with it, I'm like, please take this off my hands. I don't know what to do with it. I, I bought an NFL Blitz machine last year that I really, really, really messed up. And I was like, get this out of my sight. And they can reuse it for parts and heck, maybe even make that NFL Blitz machine into a small one. Would you, would you go as far to say that also if somebody has a big size arcade, you would scale it down for Oh yeah, them. yeah. Okay. And the cost would be much less, obviously, less than parts. So. And that's, that's the same way it would be with us and everything. Um, you know, the less, the more you have to give them, the less the cost. And you also will work on main machines as well. Yep, yep. Um, there's a main machine in store. It's the one that's connected to the PC that's in the middle of our arcade machines. It has all those old school arcade games on. They do that as well. So anything that's arcade related, uh, anything that you need, uh, will be them. I'll post the uh, information for 8-Bit Arcade, you know, the phone number, website, all that stuff at the bottom. And uh, if you ever have any questions, give Adam a call and uh, stop trying to buy my machines in store. I bought them. <laughs> I bought them. They're mine. Get over it. <laughs> Come buy them from me. Come buy them from me. <laughs> buy the video games from me. Buy the arcade games from me. I buy those for a reason. And the reason is so my wife doesn't beat my butt for having 11 <laughs> arcades in my house. <laughs> you can hear her laughing behind the camera right now. Hey, thanks again, guys.